While we're very sorry that Vice President Harris cannot make it here in person, we will be joined. We will be joined by her later via video. The last time a presidential candidate failed to turn up to the Al Smith dinner was 40 years ago. President Biden couldn't be here tonight. The DNC made sure of that. The Catholic fundraiser typically sees both presidential candidates making fun of themselves and each other. Really a pleasure anywhere in New York without a subpoena for my appearance. Ms. Harris is the first candidate to decline the invitation since 1984. Tradition holds that I'm supposed to tell a few self-deprecating jokes this evening. So here it goes. <laughs> nope, I've got nothing. I've got nothing. I guess I just don't see the point of taking shots at myself when other people have been shooting at me for a hell of a long time and they shoot at me. Instead, Ms. Harris pre-recorded a video with Molly Shannon's Saturday Night Live character Mary Catherine Gallagher, in which she joked she wasn't anti-Catholic. The Al Smith Dinner provides a rare opportunity to set aside partisanship. Cool. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hey, what's going on? Who was that? Oh, sorry, Mary Catherine Gallagher. Mary uh, Catherine Gallagher, it's so nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, Mary Catherine. Right now, I'm trying to record my speech for tonight's dinner. Oh, yeah, I know. I just want to say that I'm Catholic, and tonight is one of the biggest dinners next to the Last Supper. It is a very important dinner, and it's an important tradition that I'm so proud to be a part of. But not so proud to put in an appearance, a decision that Donald Trump took full advantage of. You can't do what I just saw on that screen. But uh, my opponent feels like she does not have to be here, which is deeply disrespectful. The Harris campaign says they wanted to maximize campaigning opportunities in battleground states, rather than detouring to New York, a state that's seen as a democratic stronghold. The Trump campaign sees it differently. They suggest that Ms. Harris knew she'd face an uncomfortable night due to her pro-abortion stance. It's 100% a shot at Catholics. You can't take a look at it any other way. In the run-up to the event, Cardinal Timothy Dolan, who hosts the dinner, seen here sitting next to Donald Trump, said he was disappointed. It's a shame because the nature of the evening is to bring people together. Right. The nature of the evening is civility, patriotism, humor. Mm -hmm. It's not a campaign speech. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a campaign stop. Eight years ago, Donald Trump was jeered at the charity dinner for his pointed comments at Hillary Clinton, who bettered him in her responses. Hillary is so corrupt. She got kicked off the Watergate Commission. It's amazing I'm up here after Donald. I didn't think he'd be okay with a peaceful transition of power. <laughs> Unfortunately for Ms. Harris, her failure to attend meant there was no opportunity to respond. It's a rule. you got to go to the dinner. you got to do it. Otherwise, uh, bad things are going to happen to you from up there. And Mr. Trump took full advantage. If you really wanted Vice President Harris to accept your invitation, I guess you should have told her the funds were going to bail out the looters and rioters in Minneapolis, and she would have been here guaranteed. She would have been here. Guaranteed.